Hey guys, uh, time to see how you guys doing. Uh, this is going to be a departure. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this um, short, but um, I, I just wanted to um, put my feelings on here now. A couple weeks ago, uh, I read a report that um, the Baltimore, Washington area had wanted to make a bid for the 2026 uh 2026 uh world cup soccer or football as they call it and uh they i uh, was reading at the comment in the, in the baltimore sun uh saying that um they put the they put a strong bid in but um for some reason uh nobody wanted to come uh their their bid was was rejected so, I just wanted to put my two cents on there. Um, he, um, so, uh, you want to know why the bid was rejected? It's because Baltimore and Washington together, uh, we got some problems. We got crime problems. I work for uh, a healthcare agency, and they put out charts, uh, uh, information about carjackings, and and if if something like that happens, you know, we need to do X, Y, Z. Um, there's a big rise now in, in people getting carjacked. Um, also, the number of murders that happen in the inner city, as well as in Baltimore County, as well as in D.C. too. Um, these streets out here are not safe anymore. Uh, on on any particular weekend, uh, I was gonna take take it on Sunday. I see complete lawlessness with uh, dirt bikers running through the streets of Baltimore, holding up traffic so that they can run around like they lost their minds, um, just disobeying all of. The traffic laws because it, it, the laws don't mean anything to them uh, we're talking about young men black and white uh, we're talking about between the ages of maybe 14 to about maybe uh, mid 20s but there are also times where I've seen some older men in their 50s and 60s doing the same thing uh, riding on dirt bikes and having no respect for the law or what happens and that type of of lawlessness is is, is not conducive to having people uh, come to your city to spend their money uh, to be um, victims or uh, having some type of serious incident happening you go to downtown Baltimore and nobody wants to go down there because there's so much crime or cars being broken into or um, there's a big homeless situation people or um, that you know it's, it's just looks really bad so how are you going to put a bid in where you want uh, people to come to a city that's unsafe I'm serious <laughs> That's ridiculous. The The number of murders in Baltimore City is, is last year was over 200. In, in D.C. it was over 200, 200 plus. And that's been consistent for the, like the last 10 years. So, it, it, plus the crime statistics, show, it has shown that a lot of innocent crimes has increased and the police don't want to do anything about it because of Freddie Gray. So, who's going to protect them? They, they're just going to be a statistic. So I, I'm I'm sorry. I, you gotta if you want people to come, you got to make this city a lot more safer for, for for good folk to come in there to spend their money. And if and if it's dangerous, people vote with their feet and they're gonna vote with their dollars. Uh, I'm living in the city and I'm I'm you know I, I see the lawlessness and the and the debauchery that goes here and and. You know, I, I, I can't support this. Um, I, I, I want to move, but I can't because the economy is so jacked up. And, you know, it's it's a mess. It's a mess. And then uh, my poor citizens, my, my, my people I'm working with and the people that I'm living with, you know, 
uh, they don't do anything because they just have it in mind that they're going to vote the same people in. So if you vote the same people in, you're going to have the same outcome. So I don't get it. I, ju I just don't get it. I, I don't get it. You, if you continue to do the same thing, you're going to have the same outcome. It's it's lunacy. And so, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, when I was in the 10th grade, uh, we had a mayor, Mayor uh, Schaefer. Um, so he became the governor, and then he also became um, the, city, the, the state comptroller. And he was a advocate of the city and he made sure that the, the schools were clean make so the, the streets were clean he made sure that everything was running the, the people were doing what they need to do now they don't they don't care they don't care uh, this, this is a complete lawlessness in here so uh, I, I just don't I just don't get it but Anyway, that's just a rant. So, I know I'm preaching to the choir. So, just listen to me. I'm sorry, but I'm 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 feeling pretty uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty uh, sensitive about that. Okay. Well, you guys have a good weekend, and I mean, good week, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.